Hi, welcome to Mars Campers. Today we're going to talk about setting up your new camper trailer. This video will give you a few tips that'll just make setting up so much easier for you and covers Surveyor, Ranger and Maven models. Once you've arrived at your campsite and you've got your trailer set up on level ground, we're going to have to disconnect the trailer from the back of the vehicle. The first thing to do, of course, is pull on the handbrake and release the jockey wheel. The rest is fairly self-explanatory. Of course, we have our plug, safety chains, de-shackle, and then you're really ready to disconnect the trailer from the car. To lower the rear stabilizing leg, it's just a simple case of pulling out the pin, lowering the leg, locking the pin back into place, and with this handle, just lower the leg down. The stabilizing leg at the rear of the trailer can be used to, to help level the trailer, obviously stabilizing it when moving around inside it. Remove the waterproof cover by simply undoing the six ties. A tip is to put the tarp upside down on the ground. That way you can put your tent pegs, poles and tent extras all in one spot without tripping over them. It's important to remember that your tent will open out on the driver's side of the camper trailer and of course your annex will extend out to the rear. Under the waterproof cover, you'll find tent extras such as your annexes, your tent poles and pegs. Now that you have all your gear set out on the tarp, it's important to note that you don't mix up the poles between the two bags. In one bag, you'll find the two corner stays. One end has a C-clip and the other a bung stop and is adjustable using this lock screw. In the other bag, look for three spreader bars with C-clips on each end. Once you have these three bars and your two corner stays, that's all you will need to put up your main tent. Before going into the tent, peg the corners. Now that you've pegged your floor out, you'll have put in your two corner stays and of course your three spreader bars across the ceiling. When putting in your spreader bars, make sure that the toggle is facing downward or you may end up rubbing a hole in the canvas. On a new tent, when you come in, you'll find a whole lot of these Velcro tabs. It'll be a bit of a fiddle, but you can spread those out nice and easily. This will hold the canvas to the frame. Now we have the awning set up. You'll find four poles with a hook on one end and an eyelet on the other. Four of those. Then comes the three ridge poles. Eyelets on both ends. And I should point out that all of these are extendable. Then we have a single ridge pole, which goes vertically up the centre of your tent to support the ridge. We have three regular tent poles, a point on one end and a blank on the other. Another great little tip is with the blind or your awning, to fold it up under the pelmet, simply fold it like so and roll it up tight. Tuck it up under the pelmet. There's a toggle here you can use to hold that up. There's three toggles and that's it. Take one of the four poles with a hook on one end and the eyelet in the other. Locate the hook through the little orifice in the back of the tent. On the corner of the frame inside, there's a little hole. So you'll be able to just feed that hook into that hole. Then of course, you have to make sure that your adjustable eyelet is pointing downwards. Now that we have our tent annex frame put up, 
we're going to bring the canvas awning over. We'll need to make some adjustments, but at this point it's probably a good idea to get family members or friends to give you a hand. It can be done with one person, but it's a lot more fun with a whole bunch of people. Now we're going to put the floor down and the three walls. There are some little plastic caps that come in a bag. These are fantastic little things to put over the tops of the spikes. That's just an added waterproof feature. As you can see, we've now got our walls constructed and our floor down. Mars Camper Trailers actually comes with an extra annex. We're going to show you how that works right now. The final thing we're going to do now is put up our second annex. Of course, we've got our poles that clip together. There's four of these with an eyelet at each end. Main tent poles, one long one, three shorter poles with a spike on the end, of course, and our ridge beams or ridge bars, again, with eyelets on each end. That's all you should need to set up your second annex. We've put the roof of the annex onto the uh, tent here. We've just attached it with the zip and we're just now going to run the zip right along the front of the tent. Another good idea is to set up your Mars Camper trailer at home. That way you can become familiar with the setup process. Make sure to hose down all of the canvas. This will help season the stitching and ensure a waterproof stay. All Mars campers are treated with a hydrophobic polymer to achieve a waterproof result. Hope you've enjoyed this video and found it helpful in setting up your soft floor camper. There are plenty of guy ropes and spreader bars included in the kit that you can use in windy conditions or really as you see fit. Thanks for watching Mars Campers. We'll look forward to seeing you next time.